Hello and welcome to Maths with Jacob. This lesson will focus on Roman numerals. Roman numerals use symbols to represent numbers. This system relies on a widely used convention which has addition and subtraction as the two operations. There is no other calculation as such. The symbols are just used to represent the numbers. The main symbols are as follows. So in our system, the 1 is like that letter I. The 5 in our system is the V in Roman numerals. Notice they're all capital letters. The 10 is the letter X. 50 is L. 100 is C. That's like for century. In our system, 500 is, is D in the Roman numeral system, and 1,000 is M. Let us now write down some basic numbers, and then we can explore how the system operates. So these are just the numbers from 1 to 15. So, for example, if you take those two columns there, that one and that one, like that, I've got our system here. OS means our system from 1 to 5. Roman numerals from 1 to 5. Our system from 6 to 10. Roman numerals 6 to 10. And our system 11 to 15. Roman numerals 11 to 15. Now, let's see how this system actually works. So basically you need to memorize these. But once you understand how the system actually works, and you just remember those numbers here, right? So our system, the Roman numeral letters, once you remember those, you'll be able to work all these out as soon as we have a look at the next slide and you actually understand how the system operates. So how the system operates. You are allowed to have three of the same symbols in a row and no more. For example, see the three you have three symbols there. See that? So nowhere, wherever you look, anywhere you look, doesn't matter what the symbol is, you will not see four symbols in a row. You only see three. So that's a very important rule to remember. This is a very handy table because it has the numbers from 1 to 100 listed. Now these are very crucial rules, these next two. They're very easy to remember, but we need to know them. If one or more smaller symbols are placed to the right of a larger symbol, the smaller symbols are added to the larger symbols. This is what this means. In our system, the number 6 is VI, meaning V is 5 plus 1 gives you 6. So V plus 1 because this is to the right of the V so 5 plus 1 gives you 6 7 is the 5 plus another 2 5 plus 2 13 is the 10 plus another 3 that's the convention it's quite straightforward if a smaller symbol is placed to the left of a larger symbol the smaller symbol is subtracted from the larger symbol so if you have we know that's 5, but because it has an I to the left of it, 5 minus 1 gives us 4. So it's 5 minus 1. We know that's 10. We have this symbol to the left of it, so it's subtracted from 10. 10 minus 1 gives us 9. That's 100, and that's a 10. 100 minus 10 gives us 90. So they're the basic rules, and if you remember those, you'll have no trouble. Larger numbers. The following are the larger numbers that are used regularly. Have you ever seen an old building with the construction date written in Roman numerals? Now here's a perfect example. Look at that. Now, once you study what all these are, I reckon you'll be able to work out that date. So you have a little go at that, and I'm sure your teachers will help you. And you can work out when this building was constructed. So 100 is a C, 200 is two of them, 300 is three of them. So that's the maximum we can have. 400, 
Okay, now D, D is 500. So 500 take away 100 is 400. So there's D for 500. 600 is 500 plus 100. 700 is 500 plus 200. 800 is 500 plus 300. Now for the 900, we have the century, the, sorry, we have 1,000. See the M? The M is 1,000, right? So all you do is take away 100, because C is 100. Okay, so 1,000 take away 100 is 900. And M is 1,000. If you can remember those, and they're not that difficult to remember, you won't have any trouble with Roman numerals, and I'm sure you'll work out this date.